Let's learn the difference between Cartesian product, relation and function. Cartesian product of A and B where A is given as 1, 2 and B is given as 1, 2, 3, 4 is the set of all ordered pairs AP where A belongs to A and B belongs to B. So A cross B includes 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. First elements belong to the set A and the second element belongs to 2. Then we have 2 as the first element, 1 as the second, then 2, 2, then 2, 3, and 2, 4. This is the Cartesian product of the given two sets A and B. Suppose I define a relation between A and B such that R is a set of all AB such that B is either equal, equal or one more than A. Suppose I define a relation as this where A belongs to the set A and B belongs to the set B. Then R will include all the elements where the first element is 1. It will be related to either 1 or 1 more than 1. So 1 or 2. Then the second element 2 is either related to 2 or it is related to one more so it will be related to three so these four elements are the elements of r or these are ordered pairs are forming this r so this r is called relation which is a subset of the cartesian product these one 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 two 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 one 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 two 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 and two three they are forming. We are picking some elements of A cross B. We are defining a relation between them and they are, this R is a subset of this A cross B. So I can say that relation is a subset of the Cartesian product. Now how the function is different from the relation? Let's see an example of it. Like uh, suppose I define a function as set of all ordered pairs AB where B is square of A and also here A is a part of the first set and B is a part of the second set. Now it will contain if the, the first element of the first set is 1 it will go to 1 the second element is 2 and it will go to 4. If I draw a diagram with for both R and F with the given relation defined on them, so I can conclude that the first elements include 1 and 2. I have 1, 2, 3 and 4 in the other set. If I define a relation R between them, which goes which is related. The first element is related to second when they are either equal or one more. The second element is related to either equal or one more. This is how I'm defining R. Next thing which I wanted to define is F. How the F has been defined. So we have one and two here. We have one, two, three and four here. 1 is going to its square, 2 is going to its square. Now, this is how I define the function, this is how I define the relation. Every function is a relation. Function is a subset of relation, but every relation is not a function. Now, let's look at the difference between them. Every element of the domain, the first set from where we are drawing the mapping is called the domain set. This is called the codomain set. A range are those elements of the given set which has been mapped to the elements of the 
which I mean to the domain set. So range in this case will include only 1, 2 and 3 because these are the elements which are mapped to the elements of the domain set. In this case the range will include only 1 and 3 sorry 1 and 4 because these are the only two elements which are mapped to the elements of the given domain set. So range is a subset of codomain range is a subset of codomain then the next thing which we were defining is a function is a subset of relation if you look at the function all the elements of the domain set should have only one image in the codomain set here one is mapped to one here two is mapped to four here one is having two images so it's no more a function Though every function can be a relation, but every relation is not necessarily a function. So every relation is not a function. This is a minute difference between a relation and a function. Every function can be a relation, but every relation is not necessarily a function.